Chapter 207. The Waste. Nanyu Prefecture, located along the Yangtze River of the Great Zhou, boasted unparalleled beauty. With its enchanting views around you lay can the year-round fragrant flowers and exotic plants. The four seasons were distinct. There were vibrant willows and peach blossoms and spring. Lotus ponds full of lotus flowers in summer. Mid. Autumn's moon gazing and flower pageant. And silent city under white snow in winter. Heading down the Yangtze River from Fuyao State, Nanyu Prefecture lied in the middle of the journey. The hills and flower beds were reflected in the shimmering waves along the journey. A small tour boat gently departed from the river. At the stern of the boat, the helmsman wearing a dually hat was shouting commands and greeting to passers-by on other boats. At the bow, there were two radiant figures standing. One was a vibrant youth dressed in coarse clothes, exuding an extraordinary air. He stood tall, his features bright, and his eyes sparkling. His appearance would make people instinctively like him, and many girls found themselves falling for him. Yet this youth was occasionally disturbed by bouts of violent coughing. Adjacent to him was a woman dressed in a red cloud pattern skirt with a phoenix hairpin, her slender waist accentuated by the dress. Her attire might have been fitting for a wedding day, but appeared peculiar in this setting. The passengers on other boats pointed and gossiped, speculating if she had run away from home after a dispute, and deducing that she must be a young miss from a wealthy family. The woman was exceedingly beautiful yet aloof, her hairstyle neatly arranged with a single phoenix hairpin, her porcelain skin radiant, her bright eyes taking in the surrounding views, her expression elated yet marred by a hint of melancholy. This trace of melancholy only appeared when she glanced at the youth as if worrying about him. The two were none other than Han Yi and Chu Xianyu, who had fled from Fuyao State. After leaving Fuyao, Han Yi acquired a set of clothes from a farmhouse to cover his upper body, lest others find his appearance too unusual. As for Chu Xianyu, considering the scarcity and value of women's clothes, she decided not to fuss over it. Chu Xianyu pointed at the boat and then towards the distant city, indicating something. 6. Interestingly, she uttered not a word. Are you implying how much longer until we reach? Han Yi guessed. Ever since they left Fuya and Chu family, he noticed that something wasn't right. Chu Xuan Yu's illness had worsened. Now, without a veil, she couldn't speak. In other words, she had become mute. By her standards, wearing a veil would suffice. However, Miss Yu seemed no longer willing to wear the veil. She'd rather remain silent than wear it. Despite Han Yas repeated urging on the journey, it was to no avail. Han Yi was unsure of the possible reason behind it. Her deteriorating condition was on the verge of reducing her to an ordinary person. More embarrassingly, his own condition was not much different. After briefly merging with the Dragon Soul, using the full power of the Heavenly Demon Nether Dragon Scroll, summoning 24 contemplation diagrams, the tremendous demon power had pushed his body to its limits. Unable to withstand the power, his body exceeded its limit. Even the unrivaled tyrant body couldn't restore it, the physical damage was too severe. His condition was like a delicate porcelain doll on the verge of shattering. Any use of magic power would accelerate the shattering of his body, leading to certain death. He, unable to use magic power, was virtually disabled. This was the reason why he chose to travel by boat instead of flying. Upon hearing Han Yes reply, Chu Xianyu slowly shook her head. She then pointed at Han Yes chest. Are you concerned about me, wanting to find a place to heal me? Only then did Han Yi understand her intention. Miss Ju was worried about his injuries and wanted to find a place where his physical body could be repaired. However, Han Yi found this very unlikely. Even the Supreme Immortal's essence blood could only delay the shattering of his physical body and couldn't repair it, let alone other heavenly or earthly treasures. My injury isn't just physical. It's the consequence of using the demon chart. And common elixirs or treasures can't help. Hearing this, Chu Xuan Yu's eyes dimmed. She gestured at the surroundings, spreading her palm wide, indicating the choice was his. However, Han Yi looked lost, murmuring, I don't even know where to go the Dragon Sparrow sect could have been an ideal destination. That my return would unquestionably bring disaster to the sect. The news about the heavenly demon nether dragon scroll has likely spread throughout the world. If I return to the sect, though under the protection of the sect master, it would bring annihilation to the sect. 
Han Yi couldn't forget that formidable spiritual sense of the immortal gate seeking them in the past. He believed that even if he returned to the sect, he couldn't withstand the imminent disaster, he could only wander around. Moreover, the distance between Fu Yao State and the Dragon Sparrow sect was great. Without the use of spales or flying, it could take him several years just to get there. Given the vast distance between the two, the boat traveled from one end of the ferry crossing to the other. The clear sky turned cloudy during the brief moment. The sunny day swiftly turned gloomy, with swirling clouds. As the boat drifted further, a light rain began to fall. The helmsman, covered by a dually hat, didn't mind the rain, but Han Yan Chu Xiaonyu retreated to the cabin and settled down. The cabin was filled with the latest newspapers from the Great Zhou, detailing the recent events in the cultivation world. Seven days and seven nights had passed since the demonic cult attacked the Chu family's sword mansion, but the situation wasn't calming down. Instead it was becoming increasingly intense. News from Fu Yao State reported that the Empress of the Great Zhou conveyed the deeds of the demonic cult to the Nine Heavens and Ten Earths, entrusting the judgment to Wu Lian Tian, because the human emperor's Nine Ding which had been sealed in the Qianchen Mountains, had also been captured by the new leader of Bai Tia Demon sect.